Just a little backstory so that people understand why I'm so excited about Ebu is that for years I did supplements that help detox. I mean, my clinic, like half of the clinic, what we were doing is detox. And detox is not pretty always, but the end result is pretty phenomenal. And we did specifically heavy metal detoxing. So one of the ways that I found Dr. Yoshi was I was blessed to work with Leanne Rimes and she's come on my podcast twice now and explained the, the most recent talked about Ebu. And we put her through all the supplements. I put her through all the heavy metal supplements and it was oak, it worked, it, but it was rough. And that was hard for somebody who's touring to the degree she's touring. She also had her Epstein-Barr virus had just kicked in and fatigue was huge. So I told her, hey, how about we try this thing called Ebu? And it has been a game changer. Like uh, that and methylene blue, just total game changer for her health. So with that in mind, help us understand. And I know every time I come into your office, I'm like, tell me again what this is doing because everybody I send to you all, even the most difficult cases start to improve and it's phenomenal. So what is Ebu? All right. So first of all, the people you are sending to us are doing so much first. That's right. right? Yeah. And so I don't want to put out like to people, oh, if you're not doing the things or at least yeah. working on the things, don't come just do Ebu for the heck of it. Okay? That's right. If you're a biohacker, if you're like healthy and just want kind of the anti-aging effects, like, yeah, you come do it. But if you're going through a health situation, make sure you're doing the things, make sure you're working with someone, whether it's us or you or some other health kind of provider, um, just to make sure you're doing those things. And then Ibu can come into the discussion. So that's why it's been so effective for your, for the people yeah. you've sent to us. Thank and you. I think before I get to Ibu, I'll kind of touch on ozone because yeah, for it's sure. kind of this stepwise fashion. Ozone is, a lot of people know the ozone layer, ozone to measure smog. That's kind of like saying a fireman is bad because they're always at the fire. Ozone is there to actually mop up the smog. And ozone, we, let me make clear, we do not have a deficiency of ozone in our body. So mm. this is something that we can add and use as a therapeutic modality when the time is right. Mm. Now, always with everything it's like what are the potential pros what are the potential cons and right. with ozone when done well like there's very little potential cons it's all potential pros and Amazing. that's why it's such this exquisite therapy that's been around for half a century but kind of more in europe and hasn't really made its way over into the u.s until maybe the last 10 20 years much more so and you can go all the way from things that are very mildly ozone therapy, kind of like ozonated olive oil, right? Topically mm. for something. You can do some limb bagging with ozone for ulcers that are not healing or infections of the skin that are not healing. You can do ozone in the ears, which is great for ear infections. I mean, takes away great for sinus issues. You can do rectal ozone or vaginal ozone. And then it's kind of stepwise up the ladder. You can do IV ozone, like MAH, major autohemotherapy, where you take out a little bit of blood, put it in a bag, squirt a little ozone in that bag, mix it up, and it drips back into you. And that's a fantastic therapy. MAH is what that's called for short. And then there's 10-pass ozone. And 10-pass is a little bit more intense, a great therapy. But then there's a step above that is, or I consider it a step above that, is EBU, which stands for extracorporeal, that means outside of the body, oxygenation and ozonation. And I consider this, I call it the creme de la creme of ozone therapy. And it has this ability, well, before I talk about ozone, I just kind of ozone in general, I, it does a lot of things in the body, but I like to think of it doing three things. One, it lowers unnecessary or undesirable inflammation. And then two, it modulates the immune system. So if someone's a little bit hyperimmune, autoimmune, it can mm. kind of lower it. Mm. And if someone doesn't have enough immune system, it kind of bumps it up. And then number three, it creates energy 
i.e. ATP in the mitochondria. So it creates energy, literal in- energy in our body at the cellular level. And those are kind of the three pillars that I generally think of ozone doing in the body. And so the question becomes in the right situation, how can we get a really good dose in a really gentle way? And that's what Ibu does. And it's we're taking blood through an IV out of one arm and back into another, and it goes through this filter so you can see your blood outside of the body. And But then crossing that blood, while the blood goes up, the ozone comes in the opposite direction and through that filter. And there's like hundreds of these little straws in there with each of those straws, if you picture them being perforated, so each straw has hundreds of little holes in it. And if you spread that all out on a flat surface, it would be like this blood kind of gently rushing over that surface Mm. while the ozone comes on the underside and comes in contact through all of those holes. And so you get this massive surface area of blood that's constantly just being gently ozonated. And so that's how we do it. That's kind of the process. And yeah, where to go from there? What do you? Yeah, want? no, what that was interesting. No, you had me like I was. You were. It was like you're reading me a bedtime story. <laughs> <laughs> Love I it. was like, Wait wow, to, I let's didn't nerd know. out. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you're like a, a, a lover of the human body. Um, so just so everybody knows, you literally have two IVs, one on one arm, one on the other. Blood is being pulled out. And then it's being recycled and put back in. The re- where I got excited about it, and I know this is a question everybody wants to know, which is when it's going through this filter, what toxins are being pulled out? Because where you know, after doing heavy metal detox and so and mold detoxes and gut detoxes for so long, I was pretty excited when people were saying, you know, a couple sessions of this and you are really getting rid of a huge toxic load. Now, I also know you and I have ha- talked, you know, quite a bit about this that, you know, there we can't make claims that it does heavy metals. We are strongly convinced that it pulls out pathogens. So, I you know the science better than me, but do we have any idea what it's pulling out? So, in the beginning, Ibu came on the scene in the US like four-ish years ago. We have done, by the way, we've done, I I feel like we're coming up probably on 2,000 of them. So probably done more than anywhere else in the country. I believe I could be wrong. Totally fine if I'm wrong on that. But we've done a lot. And in the beginning, it was kind of like, oh, there's tons of toxins coming out of the body because Mm -hmm. when that blood... so what you're talking about is there's this like container and you end up with fluid and foam at the end. And it's like, that's toxins right there. And in the beginning, that was the belief. And then I started to kind of question that because I didn't want to overstate what we were doing. Like I want to be fully transparent. And so for a long time, I was like, I am not so sure about that. I think so, but I'm not sure. We don't have the testing. However, over the last year, I would say, and especially more recently, there have been people, doctors who have cut those filters open and looked at it under the microscope and found parasites, bacteria. So we know that there's, it's like the, the filter is like a Velcro mm-hmm. a- attracting those. And there's uh, more evidence that it is definitely pulling out heavy metals yeah. and I'll just say other toxins. Mm -hmm. So it is pulling those things out. My question is, and I just, I don't know, and I'll probably know more at some point in time, I hope, how much is it pulling out? Yeah. Yeah. And how significant is that? Because we are also, because we're just like this, during an Ibu session, it's like we're only covering what's in the blood. We're Mm -hmm. not covering, it's not like it's going to suck out everything in the tissues, which Ooh. is where most of our toxins actually are. They're most stuck toxins, in the our body is smart enough to kind of ah. tuck it away so that it's not in our blood because it's trying to protect our brain, right? Yep. We want as few toxins in there as possible. And so that's part of my question. Now, ozone also like speeds up phase one and phase two of liver detoxification process. So just the ozone itself is actually detoxing. Mm. aside from whatever's 
whatever's Filtered. being pulled out. Yeah. And then we also do, like we do, we give people a little bit of hydrogen beforehand via those tablets. We're giving humic acids and fulvic acids before them as well. Those are great at binding toxins. Mm-hmm. And so if we're if the ozone is speeding up phase one, phase two of the liver detoxification process, and then we're giving humic acids, fulvic acids to help bind those, it's going to draw out toxins, right, without right. the side effects, without the unwanted side effects. And then if we're pulling some out in it, you know, it's pulling some out, right? And, right. and I'm... If you're doing a series of eboos, it's going to be pulling more out. Right. So, yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, like what if you put a methylator in the like to like if it's if you're trying to get to the stuck toxins and tissues, could you like do a couple of days of a, a good methylator beforehand yeah. to just kind of push yeah. it all out? Yeah, I would. I would think so. I mean, so we do a pre nutrient IV as well. Yeah. It has the methylated B B12 in there. But I, I love that, like just, adding in, having people take some like trimeth- TMG or betaine, yep. choline, like all those methylators would probably be a very good idea. I have recommended that to some people, but it's not like our standard protocol, but I love the right. way you're thinking because it makes sense. Yeah, just to, to get it out. Now, I will tell you yeah. in, the, in the people that I've sent you, there's been a couple patterns that I have seen. Anything to do with mold? seems to work incredibly well like people who are in a bad mold situation that is like a game changer Mm -hmm. i taught you know epstein-barr virus definitely seemed to do something there and the most recent which we can talk about a little more afterwards but she's been also very public about the work that we're doing together is lisa bilio and i think the last time we did ibu she had a rough go but we hit a parasite and I, th- it came out in her stools. And oh, this was cool. as of information I just learned two days ago. And she tr- described to me what was in her stools. And I'm like, oh my God, we hit a parasite. The Ebu is mobilizing parasites and she has some in serious digestive issues. So yeah. I do think that there is like, I, I look at our toxic bucket. I really like that analogy that you start to get You've got mold and candida and lime and parasites and heavy metals and plastics and like all these things and people's buckets are so high. And when you go to Ebu, my feeling, and this is the way I explain it, is we start to lower the toxic load. We just, yeah. we just don't know how, how much we're lowering it, but there becomes a point when you lower it enough that the body can take over and it can heal itself. And yeah. I think that's why you can get away with like three Ebu sessions and then you start to see all the other things work so much more efficiently. Is that what you guys are noticing as well? Or am I the, is it just in the patients I've sent you? Yeah, no, that's, that's totally true. We, I mean, we've had people come from all over the U S for the, especially for the mold and, and Lyme for sure. So that, that totally fits your experience fits. Yeah. Yeah. 